Your Excellency, Mr. Akita Kasaiki, the Ambassador of Japan, Mr. Goto, Deputy Director General Michi, Mr. Yamita Amita Khan, member of the Consortia Company, functionaries of ONGC, the head SEJ, my colleague minister, Mr. Saurabh Bhai Patel, friends, today is a World Water Day. It's a great coincidence that we are taking one very important decision to the build of water. And I'm sure that this one occasion in one small room create a new history, not only in Gujarat, not only in India, but in Asia specific is what I feel. In this area, we are thinking since last so many years. When our last uh, Vibrant Summit 2007 was there, we invited Madam Olivia there, and I myself visited the what was there at that time, their high flux activity in Singapore. And Madam was here, we were discussing a lot she gave a detailed presentation in our Vibrant Summit in 2007. Even at that time, we were thinking about the desalination plant and the issue of water. So we are constantly trying our level best how to. <coughs> but this is some unique occasion that how major companies are coming together and they are creating a new history the build of technology and the build of human requirements. So this is in itself is a, something special, is what I can say. So this is not a small occasion. Just I was told that in Japan, one newspaper Nikki, <laughs> this is a widely published this the event which is going to be happen here in Ahmedabad, Gandhinagar. And because of this news only, I was told that the, all these five companies are great, uh, uh, the stock market is going up and up. <laughs> Just because of this news only. And I was told that now the, the market is in stock to control the situation. <laughs> so it shows the value of this event, yeah, how it's, uh, this is uh, going uh, to influence the whole uh, development scenario. It gives me great pleasure to be part of this ceremony. This desalination project is a landmark project in many ways. First of all, it shows the confidence of Japan and Gujarat governments and their companies to work together. Secondly, water availability in Gujarat has been a critical issue since formation of the state. In the last few years, we have taken around big as well as a small water conservation and distribution mechanism. We are also advocating judicious use of water through micro irrigation devices. However, for the coastal areas of the state, such interventions are not enough. We have a large coastal belt where major developments are taking place at, on fast pace. Thus, this project is the beginning of a long drawn strategy for a water sourcing in the coastal areas. Also, with massive industrialization in the state, the demand for infrastructure, including water, is growing exponentially. We are committed to provide a world-class experience to the investors 
in all aspects. However, we are careful that the industrial use of water should not be promoted at the cost of drinking or agriculture requirements. Growth in the economy, particularly rise in the employment potential, has led to rise in the income and expectations of the people. This is also leading to increase demand of such wage amenities through the domestic sector. Also, we are trying to bring more and more wastelands into agriculture. Thus, water is a source, resource which will be needed more and more to grow as a society and economy. I congratulate the consortia companies of the project for quickly structuring this project. I also compliment the officials of the highest SEJ, ONGC, DMICD, and the state government. They have worked out a historic solution by giving a show to this project. I am sure that this project will open the doors of similar projects in other coastal areas of the state and not only the state, even in the country. It will also add to our confidence for putting of the projects in other areas of water management, including its recycling. Your Excellency, you will be happy to know that the Hills SEJ is the fourth largest special economic zone in the country. It was ranked first in the country in terms of operational quality. It is also ranked one of the best 25 free trade zones of the world in a global study by reputed organization. The Hague SEJ had made arrangements for supply of 10 MGD water to meet the requirement of its units. However, the water requirements works out to 45 MGD. We were thus exploring a possibility to get the additional water supply through desalination projects using modern technology. In the meantime, in April 2010, a tri-party agreement was executed among GIDB, the DMIC, and the consortium of Japanese companies. <coughs> this agreement was to develop smart community project in the DMIC project areas. We are interested in the smart cities. Eco-friendly city at the same time the smart cities. Two such projects have been taken up in the state with Japanese. Out of this, Itochu, Hitachi, High Flux of Singapore carried out a detailed study in the head PCPIR they established the feasibility of a modern desalination plant in the hedge. Today's agreement is an outcome of this process. I congratulate all those who have worked on it. The desalination project will have a capacity of 336 MLD, which will be achieved in two phases. This is going to be the largest such project in Asia. Moreover, this is an innovative project and involves proprietary and globally tested technology of high flux. Another good feature of the project is that it is being set up on PPP basis. Our PPP framework has been admired in the country for its work in the core infrastructure, but we were taking this experience in the social sector too. We have taken up a number of PPP projects in the social sector. This project is a big example of the process. It is also heartening to know that this project is supported by the Japanese government through METI. I am extremely happy for the efforts 
made by the DMIC in this regard. I particularly compliment Mr. Amitabh Khan and I admire his involvement and support. I am sure that with the support of DMIC, our team will be doing even better, bigger and more futuristic project in DMIC area. Your Excellency, at present, there is very active exchange of Japanese companies with Gujarat government and businesses. I firmly believe that Gujarat-Japan engagement will grow day by day. On my part, I am quite keen and will be happy to support any such initiatives. I wish all success to the consortium and to the project. Thank you for coming and thank you for taking this initiative. Two, three things I would like to mention just I was talking to Your Excellency. We are doing this process for the desalination from the sea water. There will be some unused water also will be there with the excess salt. What can be a project for the value addition of that excess which is again going to the sea? Can we think about that value addition and we can aid to it? And Madam Oliver must have to think about it and she can come with some good ideas because our most of the companies are salt belt companies, chemical companies. Even in there, there is a lot of salt is required. But merely salt, that is not the aim. How to do evaluation in it? Because sometimes, like like Israel, there is one tourist destination is a uh, uh, Dead Sea. Dead Sea is nothing but it's a, uh, salt, nothing else. So how one can create this type of destination also? So if this consortium can think about this. Uh, one additional value uh, activity, if that type of proposal with the technology can come to us, we will think about it. This is one thing I am thinking. The one more thing we are thinking in the field of water. Uh, nowadays, wind energy and solar energy, Gujarat is leading. We are coming with a project of a hybrid project, solar wind combination. One more addition is coming within a year we will be able to commercialize this idea that when we will have a solar panel combined with a wind uh, mill, with wind mill there will be a capacity to absorb the humidity from the air and convert into the water. One uh, wind mill can give a 10,000 liter water per day. If I have a one wind mill in one village, I'll get 10,000 liter of drinking water daily. So I'll get the electricity, I'll get the water, and this will be the purely environment friendly initiative. Of course, one of our company is trying the level best in this field. But if you know about this type of technology, you can come forward with this something. We will be happy to aid into it. This hybrid project is already we are going to dedicate in month of April. We want to aid this, uh, how to convert this humidity into the uh, drinking water projects. This is what we are planning. So of course, uh, this is the, one of the best occasions. I am sure that uh, with the help of all these leading companies of Japan, Gujarat and both will be the beneficiary with the win-win situation. And just I was uh, talking to His Excellency that in a vibrant summit, in this room, Indians are outnumbered, Japanese are <laughs> So in that of a vibrant summit, you want to see the same thing. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you very much.